Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. I share simple and beautiful home decor tips to help you intentionally create a curated and cozy home. If you enjoy this kind of home decor content, I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you. And thank you so much for taking the time to give this video a like. If you would like some daily home decor inspiration, I share all of this over on my Instagram page. You can follow me at Ashley's Cozy House. In today's video, I will be sharing five ways that you can style your entryway for the fall and a DIY wreath that I created for my front door. I will also be sharing how I gave my entryway a little bit of a makeover. I came across this beautiful antique dresser on Facebook Marketplace and I knew my entryway would be the perfect place for it. I have taken a slightly different approach to bringing the fall season into my home in this year. I have chosen a more muted color palette for my home and also some decor pieces that give that suggestion of fall without being too much. I am really looking forward to sharing all of these ideas with you. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. For this first style, I wanted to create a cohesive feeling in my home and to do that I am repeating the same color scheme that is in the rest of my home in this floral arrangement. When I am sourcing faux stems, I look for stems that have a variation in coloring which is why I loved these hydrangea stems. The vase was an amazing home goods find. I will link the style numbers of all of these products below as I can't always find them online but you can search your local store using the style number. I talk about using coffee table books often on my channel because you can use them in so many different ways and in many different spaces of your home. To this stack of coffee table books, I'm going to be adding this candle in this beautiful amber color for fall. When I am selecting candles, I look for candles that have unique packaging. This one is not only a pretty color, but it also has a pretty pattern. To complete this look, I am adding this small marble bowl that is filled with dried seed pods and some candle accessories. For style number two, I am going to keep the flower arrangement and the coffee table books. I am adding this decorative box with gold detail and an open book to the top. Displaying books open adds some interest to your stylings. And I'm sure as hell I'm not a savior when you need me to be. I'm not the flare of a light you see when it gets dark. I love pumpkins for fall, but this year I looked for some other shapes to include. This wooden acorn adds some warmth, texture, and a subtle fall touch to this style. I will bring in that amber color again with this candle in a gorgeous textured jar. Who am I with a 
about stories that aren't mine what i did to achieve you gave me air for this next style i will be keeping the large vase but changing out the florals for these realistic looking leaf stems these stems are from the at home store and the color variation on them mimics what you would see in nature i used four stems in this arrangement for a fuller look yes, you Now, I haven't included pumpkins in my home yet simply because it is still a little early in the season. I plan to incorporate a few little pumpkins here and there as we get closer to October. With that being said, this style does feature some pumpkins just to show you how you may start to incorporate them. I like to look for pumpkins that are more realistic and neutral. These two are both from Home Goods. I really tried to source some different pieces like these pine cone candles for fall. I think they add an unexpected touch to this style. In this style, I am going to change out the vase for this black one. I did provide the link for this vase, however, I do believe it is sold out online at Home Goods right now. I brought in some dried florals for the fall, and the subtle blush tone of these limelight hydrangeas is so pretty. They are from a friend's garden, and she dried them out for me. They tie in the blush color that is in my living room and my sitting room really nicely. You're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I let me know down in the comments what you are looking forward to the most about the fall and also if you have any content that you would really like to see. I love to hear from you guys and I really want to put out content that you want to see. Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me, the one who saves me. I am placing an open book on the top of a stack of books for a more laid back casual feeling. I added these wick trimmers to the open book and paired that amber colored candle with them. To balance out the height on the other side, I am using this antique gold candle holder from the at home store and some twisted taper candles for some texture. To complete the style, I am adding these acorns from Home Goods to a small bowl. Again, I love the use of acorns as an alternative to pumpkins, just something a little different. For this final style, I am starting with this framed artwork from Etsy. I used some rub and buff on this frame in the color European Gold to give it more of an antique look. This style incorporates a few pumpkins as well, and I brought back the vase with the leaf stems. I love the muted neutral colors of these two pumpkins. To complete this simple look, I will add in the amber colored candle, a wick trimmer, and a candle snuffer. While you and I just feel like we're pretending I can't do it on my own When I'm this far away from home Won't you tell me something good Won't you tell me something good As I think of you and I There's too much
much gonna pass us by if we don't talk like we should? Won't you tell me something good? The weekend is gone and we're lying in bed. I searched and searched for a wreath that I liked for my front door and I just couldn't find anything that I really liked. I also wasn't willing to pay some of the prices that I was seeing at some of the stores for a wreath, so I decided to just make my own. I picked up a grapevine wreath and some simple florals that match my color palette in my home from Michaels and sat down and got to work. Let's go ahead and get going with this project so you can see how everything came together at the end. pretty simple and neutral look for the wreath. I oriented the florals at the bottom of the wreath in a grouping. I started with my base florals and cut the florals to size. I am placing all of the stems in the wreath by pushing them into the vines. I went back and forth about hot gluing them into place and ended up deciding to just use brown pipe cleaners to secure everything once I had it where I wanted it on the wreath. This just gives me the option to reuse the base of the wreath if I want to change anything in the future. I love a rustic looking bow. I used this frayed ribbon that I had on hand to create a bow at the top. I mixed the three colors of ribbon together. I tied the base of the bow with the ribbon first and then I added in the top piece. This just gives the bow a fuller look. The wreath adds just a little bit of fall to my front door and it is just my style. Sometimes a little DIY project is what is needed to create exactly what you want. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you got some inspiration and ideas to style your entryway for the fall. If you enjoy this kind of home decor content, a really wonderful way to show your support is to hit that subscribe button and to give this video a like. I have lots more fall content to share and I am looking forward to seeing all of you soon in my next one.